there, people! Hello there, people! Hello there once again, people! And welcome to yet another episode of Seeking Shamblers! This time around, we're going to be checking out a level made by the guy who once upon a time made Mars Base. Mars Base is a relatively big level. Um, it's basically... A very giant level, actually. <laughs> um, has a lot of complexity. Had, like, you know, a big space rocket ship area. And below it had, like, a bunch of different little areas you could explore. Lots of weird, intricate stuff. It, it was a rather fancy and flashy level. Um, the interesting thing is about the name of this level, it would be basically called Comments Email Psycho at CapeCod.net. So that seems to be a consistent thing across his levels. That was something we saw almost exactly in uh, Mars Base. In fact, it had the exact same name. So needless to say, we'll actually probably be based it off of the uh, README file instead of the actual thing there. And I'll have to change around Mars Base so that way actually it's using that instead of comments, email me at blah, blah, blah. Which is a better name for it anyway. So it kind of works. Anyway... As expected, you can email uh, questions or comments to psycho at capecod.net. No surprise there. Anyway, this is the second level by his first release. I have no idea when it was released. Um, but he was planning to release a second version of this with a patch for Q-Team. Um, rather interesting because I think Q-Team is the Capture the Flag one, I would say. I kind of forget off the top of my head. But yeah, I believe it's Capture the Flag. Yeah, it is. And it... it there's a certain version, um, in fact, that's the only Capture the Flag map we currently have is a map made by Giggler, uh, Mike Wagwell, that was on, like, September. So this sounds like this map was planning to eventually become a Capture the Flag, um, server map, but currently is not, and I'm not sure if that version was ever released. I don't have that version. I have the version without it. Anyway, so I'm assuming this was released before October 11th, so we're seeing something a little bit towards, like, the end of September or something, probably. Um, anyway, Gigor did do some alpha testing for this map, as well as some other people. And, yeah, this is made by Psycho, also known as Dan C. Trotaway III. He lives on 45 Sconset Center, or CR, I don't know what CR means, on Sandwich, Massachusetts. Um, 02563. My god, is that an elaborate address. Anyway, let's see here. Other than that, this map is designed to be played DM2, Deathmatch 2. So the weapons stay put. Thus, there is going to be a general lack of ammo and health. Though, there is going to be one yellow armor and one quag power-up. Um... He was planning on including an awesome C pa uh, patch... But, yeah, I don't see the C patch included at all. All I have is the text file and the BSP, so I'm not really sure what he's talking about for pure deathmatch satisfaction. Um, but, yeah, it's a thing. And it's a relatively big thing. This actually is a large level. Um, 1,376 kilobytes, so it's on the larger scale of things, the levels we've checked out. I would say this is about, like, the same size as something like the Skull. It's not as big as his uh, other level was, but it's still relatively big. <laughs> so, anyway, that is um, this particular level, and someone's, oh god, why is suddenly people texting me? Um, I'll, I'll have to worry about that later. Why do people all of a sudden text me at random points? I, I, I've never really gotten many comments, but all of a sudden now it's like all the spam, and now I actually get a legit comment, but... I'm sorry, person. I'm going to have to do this level first. Anyway, as said, we're checking out Volcano. And based on how he did Mars Base and how fancy that was, I'm hoping this one is a rather nice level too. It'd be nice to actually have a cool looking volcano. But for some reason, I get very skeptical and expect this to be very shoddy. I think, like I said, this is his first level. So he might be less polished than he was in Mars Base. As I said, it's a bit smaller than Mars Base was too, which means it's a little bit less ambitious than that level would be. Though at this particular point in time, you're not seeing many levels go over this file size anyway. Um, 
there is one particular level that's a bit bigger, but that level is absolutely horrendous, so we don't worry about that one. Anyway, let's load up this one, Volcano, and see what we're in for. Shut up the music, because this one again has music. I was playing the intermission track lately, too. But as you see, we're, it seemed to be in some Mars-based volcano thing. Yeah, it's like it has... It's just a volcano flooring. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, I thought it would be more impressive have, like, a volcano on the outside or something. But this works, I guess. So, we go way over there. We go way over there. And we go way over here. And we got a button on the floor. Hmm. What am I saying? Button on the floor. Button on the wall. I can't even speak, can I? But yeah, I'm curious what this button does. Oh, what does this mysterious button do? I don't trust it. There's the teleporter, and this leads somewhere. And then we also have this ramp, which also leads somewhere else. Amazing concepts. Things lead places in this map, people. And so we get brought up here to this weird giant box. That's a big switch. It's a bit bigger than I think normal Quake buttons are, but okay. Um, a rocket launcher. That's always convenient. And here it looks like the Thunderbolt. I'm assuming you shoot that and this opens the area for the Thunderbolt or something. Maybe. I'd hope so. But yeah, you can come up here. You can grab the double-barreled shotgun, it looks like. And here's basically another way that looks like it's going somewhere else. I'm kind of a bit confused about this level. It's already getting interconnected. Wait, you can't shoot it. Okay, that's a very obvious shoot this button texture. So, uh, that's kind of annoying. But I guess it's a push the button thing. Yeah, you push it, and then... You can gather the Thunderbolt. Now, can I get trapped in here? No, I cannot. It's smart enough to let me get out if I get in there. What the? Oh, okay, I walked into doors. Okie dokie, so we got the Thunderbolt from this thing. So you see, relatively simple to get. Nothing really fancy there. So, uh, we got still lots of ways. I'm kind of getting confused. I'm trying to get some sort of organization or order to this. But yeah, it kind of goes all over the place. Here's another teleporter. In case the other two weren't getting confused enough, here's another one. I really hate teleporters because you never know where they're going to go. But yeah, this elevator seems to go upwards and downwards. It's kind of like Mars Base. It goes all over the place. For the time being, I won't worry about that place. Let's see what's out here. I think that's the bridge we were seeing from above. And here's like a random rock. Giant big rock. There's also some little platforms down there, which look like a lot of fun to walk across. This should be interesting to explore, people. Well, I guess we want to a volcano. We'll get a freaking volcano. Okay, so let's see here. We got this gate. This, this just opens up. Leads to a double-barreled shotgun, which is always nice. It also leads to whatever this area is. I'm not even sure we can consider this. It looks like a little balcony and little outs. Well, I guess I'll go up this elevator and um, get this thing. I'm always suspicious of secrets. Especially when the map name is so big, I can't tell if there is a secret or not. But, um, yeah, there's lots of teleporters in this map. I'm really getting confused on the amount of teleporters. Especially when I'm trying to avoid using teleporters right now because I'm trying to retain some sense of order. And instead, I feel like I'm getting more disorder with all the teleporters everywhere. But, yeah, here's another teleporter. I think this is, like, teleporter number four or five. I mean, there's a teleporter over here. Yeah, this... So there's two teleporters on this side. There's two teleporters on the other side, I think. I kind of forget. God, there's too many teleporters. There's an elevator. It leads somewhere. I have no idea where in God's name I'm going at this point. It feels so disorienting. Okay, this one leads back to the big Thunderbolt bots. I've gotten this at least. Wait, here's a yo armor. Oh, convenient. Very easily able to be missed from the other side, but yeah, from this side, because it's very obvious that there was a yellow armor. That's always brilliant. Okay, so we can head back to this side, and we can look for teleporters. Like this teleporter, and a teleporter over there, so that's four teleporters in this place. There's also a mysterious button, which I don't know what does. So we got stuff to do, people. Lots of stuff to do, and I don't know what I'm doing first. 
That's the thing, it's kind of getting confusing. Okay, so that way we understand, we know where that goes. Where does this one go? We have like a hole that leads downwards, and some elevator that leads upwards. So we got a staircase that leads somewhere that I don't know. And we have this way, which leads to other places I don't know. Large lava pillar of death. That's always exciting. And apparently a radioactive container, which we probably will need. I'm missing radioactive container, bio suit. I'm really not doing good in my speaking today, am I? Anyway, let's see here. We got elevators of galore. One elevator, two elevators, and this thing, which seems to lead down to the lava. This is probably the platformer area, isn't it? Or it's just a little tiny area beside some lava. I see, so you can run around here and gather some resources if you want. You know, because this isn't going to be totally horrible and cause my death because I'm horrible at this type of thing. Um, let's see here, because yeah, there's so much freaking lava everywhere. Well, what did you expect of a free freaking volcano? So let's see. Ow! Bloody elevator! This elevator leads upwards to multiple floors. I think this is the one where the super nail gun was. Yes, it is. Okay, so we just saw the bottom floor of this one. We also know the other floor of this one. That's nothing. Um, let's get to the top of this thing. And then figure out where am I going from here. Aha, I see. So this is the opposite side of that grenade launcher. That's useful to get. I think the rocket launcher you could drop to from here. It's kind of dangerous to get to. But I thought I saw like a thing you had to drop to. Like right there. There we are. Oh dear god, that was scary. <laughs> I tried jumping to it and I kind of fell. But there we are. I got the gr rocket launcher. Okay, actually we got all the guns in the map. At this point you have to ask yourself, why would I drop into the volcano area at the bottom of this map anyway? But let's see here. This elevator leads where again? To here. We also have this it base area, which is just the top of the staircase. Okay. I got this far at least. I understand this much. Yeah, this is the staircase I kind of avoided going up before. Now I kind of get where it goes. Can I get to this? Yes, I can. That way now I get the nail gun. As you see, this is also how you get to the bio suit. Ooh, bio suit. You have to ask, ask yourself, if I get that bio suit, are they expecting me to drop in the lava pit? I don't know. I don't know what the intention is of this. I'm kind of scared to use the bio suit because I don't want to waste it because there's only one of them. Um, that might be the last thing I really do after I've kind of done everything else and exhausted all my resources, if you will. We still have the teleporters, which I don't know where they go. But we have a thunderbolt over there we might get. And my greed's gonna be a death of me. But I got the thunderbolts. Oh look, an elevator. Where's this lead? Well, you could get to the rocket launcher actually a lot easier than the way I did it. I kind of overcomplicated it. Yeah, from here it's kind of a bit horrible to get to the rocket launcher, but from this way it was rather easy. Yeah, you could have just walked right off and it would have been fine. So yeah, I found an easier way to get the rocket launcher, everybody. Okay, so we also have the teleporters. We still have like four teleporters in this map. I don't know where all of them go. Probably good to start figuring that out. Okay, so we got teleporter number one. Leads where? Leads to a weird magma looking area that I have no idea where in God's name this is. That's weird. I thought we'd understand where this area in the map is. Okay. Oh, okay. This is near the start. Okay, I know where I am now. Yeah, this is the teleporter down here. Okay. So, does this one lead back over there? Yes, it does. Okay, these two are interconnected. So, we already figured out what two of the teleporters are. How about the opposite side? Does this lead to a teleporter on the opposite side? Like that one in that in base room or whatever? Mm. Yes, it does. These two are interconnected. So yeah, they're just basically ways to jump between the halfway points of the map. 
Nothing too, too fancy. And the only thing really remaining is that bio suit, as far as I'm seeing. Unless I'm, there's something like hidden in this map, like a big secret or something. And I wouldn't put it past someone to do in this type of fancy map. You never know. I'm kind of paranoid of secrets, people. Especially, like I said, when I can't see if there's a secret or not. I wish there was an easy way to tell. Wait, what's this? Nothing. I saw, I, I saw a little red ramp. I had to jump to it. I'm looking for secrets and they didn't even tell me there is one. What's that tell you? Um, let's see here. What was I going to do? I was going to get the bio suit. Let's see here. I need to find my way to this so-called bio suit. Where is the bio suit, actually? I want to get to the giant staircase. Okay, and then we want to head up it. Then near the top, we want to jump over to the bio suit area. Okay, Banzai. And now we play Time to Die, because I don't really know if there's a way to accomplish whatever I need to accomplish with this thing. Wait, there's something at the bottom of this. There's a quad damage at the bottom of this. Okay. So there is something to do, but of course you die really quickly. So you need to like grab the bio suit, then drop down. But as you see, there is something at the bottom and we did kind of get it. Um, is there anything else in the lava I should know about? I mean, secrets of lava, people. I'm always paranoid of lava. And what could possibly be in them? The secrets of lava, what might possibly be in them. But yeah, as you see, basically you want to kind of get down here and then you can drop down and get the quad damage. So anything at the top? Doesn't look like it. It looks like you just kind of get up here and you just die. That's always an exciting prospect. You just get up somewhere and you die. But yeah, that is basically the level. I'm not really sure we really need to go through the entire level again. Because there's no exit. And we kind of did everything. I just didn't really successfully grab the quad damage before dying. You know, because I didn't really know what I needed to do in here. Wait, what's this button do? Dear God, that's a horrible button. Listen, people, do not press that button. I, I've learned my lesson. Only problem, I don't think there's any health in this level, was there? Yeah, I don't think there's any health, so... Needless to say, you're pretty much out of luck. Let's see here, I want to get to that quad damage and I want to get it properly. I want to achieve getting that quad damage. It's like a bit of a weird goal to get all of a sudden, but I want to get that quad damage. I want to achieve this random goal that's set out for myself. Let's get some random guns and stuff like that. So that way we can... Say we have a couple things. This. Like that. Take this, take that. You know I probably need the yellow armor as well. So it's actually good that I've been randomly gathering stuff. Because as you see, we really need everything in our disposal we can get. So let's get that yellow armor. Okay, glad I've been wandering around aimlessly gathering stuff now. Let's see here. So I think we're pretty much good to go. Maybe. Not sure. I mean, we still have that rocket launcher we could get on the middle area. So that one's a bit of a pain to get. Now, other than that, I don't really think there's much of anything left. Oh, look, there's a random nail gun. Well, isn't that good? I blended across it. Now I have all the guns. Okay. Oh, look, another super nail gun. There. I think I should say now I have all the guns. I don't know. You saw me really properly wander through the map before. So, at this point, I'm really just carelessly doing this. What do you offer? Why do you exist? Crazy. Okay, but let's see here. Let's get up to the top. And um, now let's try and jump across this thing. Let's get to that bio suit. Because I have a bio suit to play with. Let's see here. I want to drop down there. And then I want to get down to that doorway. See a doorway right below me? That's kind of where I want to get to. So like this. Down here. Ow. That's not probably good. And there you are. That's basically how you get in and out of this area. Oh dear God. No, 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 no. Let's get that thunderbolt to get out of this hellhole. 
you see, you can get here, get the rocket launcher. That's that one achieved. And I think I saw a double barreled shotgun in that area with the bio suit. Let's go grab that. Just because I'm obsessed with grabbing everything. But yeah, as you see, no health, no anything really in this level. Just a bunch of um, guns to grab. As you see, we seem to have done it though. So, with that in mind, that in mind, I'll have to look around and um, redo all this for the walkthrough, of course. But, this is a relatively big level. I'm glad we kind of accomplished this thing. So, with that in mind, that in mind, as said before, thank you all for watching. It's been a relatively big and aimless level, but it's nice to have a volcano. Still would have liked to have led like an external area of a volcano, but I don't know if the quake engine would be able to pull that off. It'd be rather nice to have something like smoldering lava shooting out of it and have like a big volcano with like lava leaking down the side of something. But yeah, for what this is, it is relatively decent and definitely reminiscent of what you'll see in like Mars Base. Though definitely, I would say a bit less involved than that one would be. Anyway, thank you all for watching. It's been an adventure, and I shall see you all next time.